Hello, this is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City. Uh, it's August of 2019. We're about to head into the fall. School has started throughout the Oklahoma City and Tulsa areas. And so uh, we're now kind of past a deadline in family neighborhoods where people want to be into the home before, say, the middle of August or so where school starts. And so now through oh, Labor Day and a little bit after Labor Day, uh, the market kind of slows down just a bit. Uh, and so what happens to investors, uh, say you're doing a 1031 tax deferred exchange, you have to close by a particular time, or you're looking at what you need to invest in before the end of the year with discretionary income, and you've got to close in the fourth quarter, in other words, September through December. What does that look like in an Oklahoma City market? Now, the first thing I want you to know is, when we're doing multifamily, this does not apply. Multifamily is a more pure rental market. You get a lot of people from apartments. We get young families where the children are not even in school yet. They wanna be closer to downtown Oklahoma City or certain areas. So it is not as uh, sensitive to what month you close in as single family homes are. But when we do our analysis uh, of, of what houses that we wanna sell, we don't just do pie in the sky. We don't go, well, you know, if the world is perfect and everything works right, and somehow that you have this huge influx of people in October, therefore we're gonna get this extra money for you. So what we typically do is we do a spread uh, in terms of a minimum maximum rent. So let's say you're closing in October, which really isn't a bad month, but you're probably going to get about a hundred dollars less in terms of your rental income in October than you are in May, which is a really hot month because that's when school is out and that's when people really get out there looking for rental property. So, you know, how do we deal with that? Well, first of all, we look at the return on investment with a hundred dollars less and we want to make sure that it still meets our minimum and exceeds our minimum standards. And if you get the maximum rent, then hey, that's totally cool. We're really into that. But let's say we have to go to that lower rent. So that means that if we do a year's lease, then you're going October to October. And so you're back into the same thing uh, the next October. We're in a slower rental season. So what we're typically going to do is this. In order of offering lower rent, we're also not going or not wanting to do a 12 month lease. So if they're getting lower rent, what we're telling them is what you need to do is we'll do this at the lower rent with a 16 month lease. That means that we're now into right before the spring season starts, much better time. Uh, and so the other thing about that is you now have 16 continuous months. You don't have any vacancy. After 12 months, you've got an extra four months of rent. We're also into a better season. So understand the logic is that we're looking at pricing that has to work with the minimum rent. And we're also looking about getting you out of that particular season. So if we can put you now into February, March, and then working you towards April, May, some June, July, we're going to be moving in that direction for you. We're gonna to try to lower your vacancy rate, of course, but we're also gonna put you into the rental season. So do not be afraid of the fourth quarter. Also understand one other thing, and this is what really gets me going, is that builders have quotas. They have bankers that want them to sell homes. Uh, what we find is the market slows down for owner occupancies in the fourth quarter. So the other aspect of this is being able to create some deals for you. So we're also very, very happy about that. In fact, I've got one builder that just gave me 14 homes at discounts because they're going into the fourth quarter. So do not be afraid of the fourth quarter. We know how to work with it. We're gonna make it work for you. This is Joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City, where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.